people, there's another rant. I want you to think about something here for a minute. For the last over four years, every time that we have had a threat to shutting down the government, it is because the Republicans refuse to negotiate because they want to cut Social Security. They want to cut Medicare and Medicaid. They want to cut food stamps programs. But they are unwilling to cut the tax breaks the rich get. They're unwilling to cut the subsidies the rich get. They want to take away from you, the 99%. And you think, oh, we have no power. You do have power. First of all, you 99% are putting the most of the money into that treasury. The rich are not. That's just the plain, simple truth of it. They are not putting the majority of the money into that tre treasury. But they are getting the majority of the benefit from that money. Now, you say, well, you know, hey, they're the rich. They make the most of the income. Why shouldn't they? We got to keep them running. Uh-uh. No. Uh-uh. They're running just fine. They're making $35,000 billion in profits. They're doing just fine. But are you? Are you doing just fine? Are you worried about your child's next meal? Are you worried about how you're going to keep the lights on in your house? While you're out there and you're busting your butt, cleaning the offices and the houses and making the products that make these billionaires billionaires and these millionaires millionaires. You have some power. First and foremost, you have the power of your work. They wouldn't be billionaires and millionaires if you didn't work for them. Straight up and simple. They would not be who they are today without your work. If they're going to insist you pay the largest amount of the taxes into the treasury and out of your income, far more than they pay at all, many of them pay zero, then they need to start paying you a living wage so you don't need those programs. But they're not going to do that. See... Food stamps and welfare benefit the poor in the fact that they don't starve or go out without housing. But it also benefits the rich because they don't have to pay you a living wage. They can keep on pocketing their money no matter how much product they make. They can keep on pocketing that money. It's no different than back in the day when they had child slavery or laborers who they paid pennies. And they depended on those that child labor to keep them rich. So, excuse me. You have power there. Because without you, they wouldn't be rich. Remember that. The next time the Republicans are hollering about wanting to give the rich another tax break or give some big oil company or corporation another subsidy, you have some power too. And especially when they're wanting to give this to the rich while well, they're taking it away from you. Fifty-three percent of the subsidies that go out in America go to the richest Americans in this nation. 53%! I 
like I said before, if you make one dollar and put it in the treasury, one dollar, or let's say one hundred dollars, if you make one hundred dollars and put it in the treasury, one rich man gets fifty three dollars of that one hundred dollars. Every one of the middle class and the poor that paid that one hundred dollars into the treasury makes forty seven cents. Forty seven cents. For all of you little people. But yet you're the one who are putting in thirty dollars of that one hundred dollars into the treasure while the rich are putting in fifteen dollars to nothing why is it they are getting the biggest benefit out of the money that you're putting into the treasury why is it why is it that the Republicans keep on threatening to shut down the government and have done it a few times to try and cut what you're getting out of them t taxes so that they can give more to the rich? 25% of the deficit we have today is because of Trump and his rich man tax break. And the Republicans want to give them more. And you got Trumplicans out there hollering. You know, I honestly believe the majority of the Trumplicans that are supporting this kind of crap are the rich themselves. And those that aren't the rich are clueless as to what's happening. Bush tried the trickle-down theory. What did that get us? A recession and a housing bubble burst. It didn't work then. It's never worked any time they have done it because the rich are not going to give back to their workers. They have already proven they will do everything they can to get the highest amount of money in their pocket and give a crap less about their workers. Their workers are nothing more than a tool to make them richer. How rich do they have to be? And how poor do they want their workers to be? before they're happy enough. You got to remember before laws were put in place, the rich were more than happy to work the hell out of their workers and pay them nothing, literally nothing, because they were building towns for these people to live in. And once these people got into the company-owned houses, were driving the company-owned cars, were spending the company-owned money, come every payday, the rich would say, oh, you had to get this from the store. That took your paycheck. And what they bought from the store may have been equal to maybe a quarter of their paycheck. What it cost to house them may have been a quarter of their paycheck. So 50% of their paycheck was going right back to the rich because they were gouging their workers and leaving it so that their workers couldn't leave and go find a better job. That's the way these corporation and these rich people work. They don't think it's hardship on you to live like that. They think you should be grateful for what you give them. 
and don't realize what you give them, what they give you, is pennies to what they receive from you. Because without you, they wouldn't be making the money they're making. Without you, they wouldn't have product to sell. Without you, they wouldn't have somebody standing behind the counter welcoming people into, their, into the business or taking the phone calls or helping to get the patients where they need to go. Without you, they wouldn't have nothing. They'd have dirty offices. So, yeah. Keep on hollering. Trump, 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 Trump. While the Republicans are out there trying to take every penny they can out of your pocket, pass what the rich won't pay you. They will never pay you a fair living wage. And if they are forced to, what they're going to do is they're going to hike the price of their product that is already priced far too high already. They're going to hike the price of their product. But that's the happy thing for them. Because they're not going to hike the price of your products equal to the extra amount they're paying you. No! They're going to hike it one and a half percent amount more. If you're paying one dollar for an item and the government forced them to pay you a living wage, the next time around you're going to pay two dollars and fifty cents. You may have gotten only a 50% hike, but they're going to take 100% of a profit off of the items they increase the price on. And that there's proof of that in the gas. The instant anything happens with the gas supply, they automatically, immediately rise the price of gas. Before the surplus that had already been delivered, has run out. They will hike that price the very next day. But the instant that the price of oil goes down, they won't hike that price. Lower that price. They won't lower it. Not until the surplus is gone. So they're making extra money off of you, not only from the surplus from when gas was low, but now from the surplus when gas or when gas is high and the surplus of that. They're going to keep on making money from you. So it's like this. Let me show you. Gas is low. Okay? And so you're getting charged a dollar for that gas. Today something happens to a oil well. So tomorrow they hike that price up. Now, they're still using this gas over here to supply to the customers. But they got that price hiked up as if that supply is not there. Then, things get straightened out and gas is back to here. The price of gas and production and everything is back to here. But they're going to keep on charging you this here until the gas that they bought while it was here is gone. They don't take and lower your price the day after everything gets better. They lower the price the day after all the gas that they sold at the time that it was high is gone. But they rise the price of that gas before that gas that they paid cheap for is gone. And you suffer for it. And you're out there working to be able to produce that product for them. 
you're out there busting your ass and not getting paid enough to be able to live your life, to feed your children, to put a roof over your head, to keep the electricity in your house. You're out there busting your ass to do that. Putting 30% of your income into taxes to be able to pay for things like food stamps, medical assistance, housing programs, and all that stuff that you need because your boss won't pay you a living wage. And the Republicans want to take that away from you. You're out there busting your ass to put money into your social security fund that you bust your ass from the first day you got a job to the day you die. To put money into that one account that's your account. That one account, that account has nothing to do with all the money that goes in for food stamps and whatnot. That account is your account. It is attached to your social security number. Your social security number is just is not just an identification for you. Your social security number is actually a bank account. It's a bank account you carry around with you from the day you are born to the day you die. That's what your social security number is. A bank account. And they want to take from that bank account. They want to take your money from that bank account. They want to cut it. They want to go out there like they have in the past and play with it in the stock market and lose a bunch of it and then to holler about how social security is not soluble. They want to go out there and borrow a bunch of that money for their war and not pay it back so it's really not borrowing it. They are stealing it from you and then holler about how Social Security isn't soluble. They want that free money for themselves. Okay, you want to cut food, Social Security? Then you cut the amount of money you're taking out of people's paychecks to pay for that Social Security. You want to get rid of Social Security? Then you stop taking it out of people's paychecks. You want to get rid of medical Medicaid and Medicare? Then stop taking it out of people's paychecks. Our country was in really bad shape before FDR implemented things like welfare and food stamps and social security. It was in really bad shape. We had tent cities just a mile away from the White House of poor people who could not find work could not, and those that could find work could not afford a house or electricity or anything else. They were forced to live in tents. And that was near the White House and that was over in New York. It was all over this country. FDR came into office. He implemented the Social Security program. He implemented the welfare Program. He implemented the food stamps program. He implemented the medical program. And our nation started getting people out of those tent cities. And our nation started to flourish. People started to being able to get to work. They could afford to. During the time before that, the middle class, there was no middle class. There was the poor and the rich. And the rich was partying every day. They didn't have to worry because they had enough money to live off of. And they were in control of how much you paid for the products you needed to live off of. They were in control on how much they chose to pay you. 
And you were at their mercy. And the only thing the American people could do was vote FDR into office. That was all we could do. And we got it done. And our nation got better. And now the Republicans are wanting to go back to the time when we were in a deep depression. When we had tent cities all over this nation, especially in Washington, D.C. and New York, of people just trying to make it. Poor people dying every day. Is that really what you want to go back to? Because that's where the Republicans want to put you. They don't care about you. Because the majority of them are rich. They've never had to struggle a day in their life. They've always either had mommy and daddy's money, or after mommy and daddy died, it became their money. Well, you have lived your whole life scraping by. And your parents and you and your children have paid in 30% to the treasury. Well, them rich people have paid in 15 to 0%. And you have gotten barely nothing out of that money you paid into the government. Well, the rich have been raking it in, and they want to rake in more. They want more. They want more. They want more. They want more of your money as workers. They don't want to have to pay you a fair wage. They don't care if they ever have to pay you a fair wage. In fact, most corporations want to do away with the minimum wage. Think about it. Why would they want to do away with the minimum wage? What, so that they can pay their workers more? Uh, not! So that they can take more of your money and put it in their pocket. They don't only want your tax money. They want the money that they have to pay you. They're greedy. They're selfish. They're clueless. Oh, they say, oh, but if we did away with all that, the rich would take care of the poor and, and, and donate to charities. Bullshit! Bullshit! They would just take more advantage of the poor because they can. So think about that. Most of you are too young to even have a clue of even talking to people who lived through the 1930s, who lived through the Depression years. You're far too young. You're far too busy to stop and watch any kind of documentary about that time back there. You're too busy trying to go out there and work that job to educate yourself. And when you're not working that job, you're out there running around deciding if you're not married, you're wanting to go out there and party and have fun because the notion of educating yourself on what the hell is truly going on is just too tiresome for you. And so you're staying ignorant. Ignorant be on ignorance. Wise up. Get smart. Remember, the rich wouldn't be rich if it wasn't for the fact you work for them. And you wouldn't be so freaking poor if it wasn't for the fact the Republicans are trying to hand the rich everything and take it all away from you. There would be plenty of money in the treasury for the programs that are out there if the Republicans would just 
stop giving it all to the rich. But you're out there and not educating yourself on this crap and believing every word these Republicans are spewing out of their mouth, every lie that comes out of their mouth, and you're accepting what they are doing. You are accepting the fact that you get to give 30% of your measly little income that the rich are willing to pay you to the treasury. You're willing to accept the 15% to 0% the rich are paying. And you're willing to accept the rich get that $53 out of every $100 while you get $47. You and your family and your children who are barely scraping by get 47 cents. And the rich who can afford to take year-long vacations, buy multi-million dollar yachts, live in mansion, are getting $53. Where is that fair? How is that right? And the Republicans are wanting to take more away from you and give more to the rich. If trickle-down theory actually worked, the rich wouldn't be making $35 billion in profit. They wouldn't need that $2 trillion in tax breaks. And if they got that two trillion in tax break, there wouldn't be a poor person in this nation because they would pay their workers a living wage and they wouldn't have to have Social Security. They wouldn't have to have welfare. They wouldn't have to have medical assistance. They could afford to take care of their elderly. <coughs> they could afford to take care of their disabled. And there would be money left in the Treasury for those that don't have somebody there to help take care of them. The only reason why we need so much for these programs is because of the greed of the rich. And the Republican wants to give them more. And you accept that. Maybe it's time the rich start accepting who the hell it is that makes them rich. Because they're not out there cleaning them offices. They're not out there cleaning their home. They're not out there standing for hours behind some desk dealing with rude and upset customers because the service they, they're getting isn't up to snuff because the worker that's behind that desk isn't getting paid enough to put up with the crap. And most of that crap is coming from their employer. They're not out there dealing with the customer that is upset that their product is not the quality that they're asking for in a price. Because their workers are too damn tired to make that product any better. Because they're out there working two and three jobs, trying to just make buy and still getting food stamps. And now the rich and the Republicans want to cut that? I'll tell you what. The rich and the Republicans can cut that program when they force the rich to pay every citizen in this nation that is working for them a living wage. 
and not hike the price of products so high that those people can't afford it. You buy a business today, you don't need to pay the whole damn thing off tomorrow. Back in the day, a person went into business today, it may have taken them 30 years to start making a clear profit. Nowadays, they charge you so much for the product, they're lucky if it takes them 10 years. To pay off that business. There's people who have started multi-million dollar businesses and paid that business off within five, ten years. No problem. Because they hike the price of the product so freaking high and pay their workers so little. Oh, their workers are still going to buy that product. Because they need it. I mean, you can't live without electricity. You can't live without food. You can't live without a shelter over your head. Well, you could, but then you're going to be out there not spending your time at a job. You're going to be out there spending your t time raising and butchering chickens and cows and goats and planting a field of corn and beans and whatever else not and screw electricity altogether. You're going to have yourself a nice little fireplace and a wood cook stove and hoping to God you're not going to freeze this winter. And you're going to be lucky if you can buy the land that you just built that cabin on. That's the way this nation used to be before corporations got everything. Before there was any such thing as the industrial age, the way American citizens lived here was by their grit. They planted large gardens. They, grew, they raised cows for butchering and pigs for butchering. And they always raised more than what they needed so that they could sell the surplus to the town folk. And sometimes that surplus wasn't all that fresh. And we didn't have any kind of regulation on what could be sold. And so some people got botulism and died. And they died because they couldn't afford the medical that was needed to save their life. But the rich want more from you. Since the industrial age, the people who run that industries have been taking and taking and taking from their workers. And laws had to ma be made to make sure your food was safe. And laws had to be made to make sure that those that are working you to get rich are at least paying you a decent wage, not a fair wage, a decent wage. Whether or not you can afford to feed your family or put a roof over your head is on you. Even though they're out there charging you so much you can't afford to put food on your family's table or a roof over your family's head. We have become so dependent on the industrial system that we forgot how to survive on our own. And the rich are benefiting from that. And you keep on suffering. And the Republicans want you to suffer more. Think about that. And think about where the rich would be if you weren't out there cleaning their homes and their offices. If you weren't behind that counter answering the calls 
and taking care of the customers. If you weren't in that factory putting together that product, if you weren't behind that cash register selling that product, where would the rich be today if it wasn't for you? And they want to take more.